Yes, sir, you with some sea chef back at you Saturday. Ooh, we are deciding to make me some nice lump crab chowder. Yes, sir, I got my prep work done here. What you see in here is some uh, green onions, some parsley, some thyme, some rosemary, and then I diced up real fine garlic, carrots, onions. Red peppers, yellow peppers, and a sweet, long stem Mexican purple pepper is in this mixture here. This will get sauteed up and be become part of the root. Yes, sir. Then I got my potatoes cut up. Then over here, I'm making my seafood stock. You know, when you eat your, your crab and everything and your fish, you don't want the heads. You freeze it and save it. Then all you got to do later is take those shells and those uh, fish heads and boil them and then strain the liquid from, from the shells and everything. You know, got some crawfish heads in there too as well. Yes, sir. Uh, this will give you your seafood stock right here. This will give you a nice stock. For your any type of seafood chowder or seafood soup or whatever. But this is the best way to get your stock. To get a, a broth. This is better than store-bought fish broth. Yes, sir. So, people, see you later on when I put this combo together. See ya, Simplify. USMC chef back at you. Now I got those potatoes cooking. I got my secret ingredients in there. The, the diced carrots, the diced garlic, the diced celery, the rosemary, the thyme, parsley. Yes, I got some red peppers, some yellow peppers, and I got a Mexican purple sweet pepper in there chopped up real fine and we're going to go ahead and let this cook for maybe about five or ten minutes then we're going to add that homemade fish stock seafood stock i made earlier with the fish heads and the uh crab shells and the crawfish heads yes sir yes sir i got that homemade fish seafood stock in there we're going to let that simmer with the potatoes and all the uh, smallly diced up vegetables and the parsley and thyme and rosemary. We're going to just let that cook maybe about five or ten minutes. And then we're going to go ahead and add the seafood and thicken it up a little bit. Seafood, I'm going to add some codfish, some clams, and some crab meat. Yes, I uh, might add some smoked oysters. Might add some smoked oysters. See you in a few. Simple pie. Yes, sir. Yes, uh, back at you. Now we're going to go ahead as this simmered about 10 minutes. We're going to go ahead and add that grilled pork belly in. Yes, sir. Uh, and we're going to add that codfish. Now we're going to take this and let this simmer cook for about another five minutes till that fish get right. And we're going to come back. We're going to add our cream and get this uh, set right, thickened up a little bit. A little milk, a little cream, a little cornstarch. Some people use flour, but I prefer a little cornstarch. Yes, sir. And then we're going to get that... Uh, those clams and that lump crab claw and that king crab meat in here and finish this bad baby off. Yes, sir, that uh, USMC chef seafood chowder with USMC twist on it. Yes, sir, see you in a few simple bye. Yes, sir, USMC chef back at you. Yes, sir. 
I just had it in that pound and a half of uh, lump crab meat. Also adding in there a pound and a half of uh, king crab leg meat. Yes. Uh, also added some smoked oysters in here as well. All right. And got that codfish in there as well. So this is all done. Thickened up my roux. How I did that is took a stick of butter, melted it down, add some flour and stir it until it uh, makes like a roux. Like a, like a liquidy paste, not too thick. Then added that in. That's that's what gives us this consistency right here. Perfect consistency. Yes. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and let this uh, cook simmer. About another, since I added the crab. Notice I added the crab meat in last. Smoke oysters last, fish last. That way, you don't cook it and it gets rubbery. And, you know, it starts falling apart on you. You know, you get that full flavor. Yes, sir, that seafood crab chowder on a Saturday night. Yes, sir. Got me some oyster crackers right in. Yes, sir. A little bit of hot sauce. Some Frank's hot sauce. It's on. Yes, sir. I got four bay leaves in here. You know, I'm going to let it simmer with those bay leaves. And then I'm going to take those bay leaves out. And it's time to get it on. Yes, sir. That seafood chowder USMC style. See ya. Simplify.